rock of straw colored metal. This tiny amount is in fact a lethal dose. Just four or five milligrams is probably enough to kill an adult. The coral snake is closely related to the cobras, mambas, and sea snakes. A member of the elaborate family, he has a small, front, thick spang, and although unable to penetrate sneakers, shoes, or perhaps even thick pants, the coral is a capable biter when he chooses to be. Perfectly able to bite a finger, hand, or any other part of the body. He has a powerful mouth and needle sharp fangs. The coral snake venom contains powerful neurotoxins capable of disrupting a victim's ability to breathe. Symptoms, which include difficulty in swallowing, difficulty in speaking, droopy eyelids, known as tootsies, and eventually respiratory failure, are sometimes delayed after the coral bites. When they do set in, symptoms can be rapid and dramatic. Antivenom is extremely important in treating coral snake bites. Currently, there is no longer an antivenom for coral snakes produced in the United States. Fortunately, a Mexican antivenom, as well as several other foreign serums, do seem to be effective in treating the bites by the eastern coral snake. Coral snakes feed almost exclusively on other snakes and small ground-dwelling lizards in the wild. Because it is difficult to obtain a steady food supply in captivity,